So this is Mike from Minimal 3DP, and today I'm finishing the build of our gantry on my Voron 2.4 Pro Plus. So let's go ahead and get this thing finished off. So on this next step, I have these two pieces, and what I'm doing is... So I have to find my M5 nuts. Luckily, again, everything's labeled real good. It's just there's so much of it. So I have my M5 nuts, and they're going to be inserted into these holes here. So I need a total of six. So let me see if I can insert these correctly. Back. So in this next step, I'm putting together the right XY joint. Now the right XY joint. I have two pieces that are very similar. The XY joint has a little guide here for wires. So this is the right-hand side. So I'm going to lay this down here, and I need to find a... Um, which screw is it? I need an M540 socket head. So let's look through the parts here. There they are, right off the top. So that's easy enough. So I'm putting that M540, and I'm using this hole right here. So I'm putting that in, and I'm going to flip this over, and I need to put in a bearing set. And for this bearing set, I need a five millimeter shim, or an M5 shim, bearing combo, and then an M5 shim. So let me find those M5 shims, and I'll, we'll start on that. So I have my shims and bearings, so I'm going to put a shim on. And then here's my bearing combo. So I'm going to put this one on and this one. Shim combo. And then I want to get this piece here. And if I'm interpreting this correctly, let me just look at this. How do I want this? Oh, so I want with the little wire combo there. I'm arranging this like this, and then I literally need to screw this screw in. There, that actually grabbed. I'm not going to tighten that. Now the bearing is moving. Let's look at these next steps before I tighten that all up. But as you can see, the right hand side has this notch here for a wire guide, and that's for the X wires. To continue the build here, I need a 2GT22 idler, and what I'm going to do is slip that in right here. That's getting slipped in this spot. And I'm going to take my M540 socket head, and that goes right through here. Now, as you can see, my uh, nuts fell out here, but that's okay. Now, this one, I don't want to over tighten. This one's just going into the plastic. So, there. That's about as tight as I'm going to do. So I'm not going in too deeply. As you can see, this screw is actually going into the plastic. I did it so it's sort of flush here, but again, not too tight. And let's start with our next bit. Oh, and I guess we have another. Orient this correctly. So I want another M40, M540, goes right here. That's gone through here. Okay, and I want to put teen up back in here. This one I can tighten more because it's going into the nut. OK, 
Okay. Everything's still spinning here. I want to check that. So I have these screws in. It looks like I'm going to need one more screw. Now, what I'm going to do is put the right hand side away. Now I'm going to work on the left hand side. I'm going to flip this over. I'm orienting it like this. And I need my M540 is going right up through here. So M540 right here. I need the two M5 shivs, shims. So I'm going to put a shim in here. So shim, part of the bearing combo, other half of the bearing combo, shim, and then I'm going to insert this like, well, let me see if I can figure out how to do this. Like this, I guess. Uh, yeah. So now what I'm going to do is just tighten this a little bit. Yeah, let's just tighten that a little bit, and I'll tighten that more here in a minute. Because I think I'm going to have to do something else here. So I have my other two gear here. That's going to get inserted right here. Going to come up from the bottom here with my M540. This is another one where this is going directly into the plastic. So I want to tighten it, but not just to about it's it's hard to screw. There we go. That's good enough. And then we have a look at this. I need a screw right here. Yeah, so I have that, the left side all in. And then let's do the X rail. And this is going to be the MGN 12 rail. This is going to be M3 T nuts. So this said D extrusion. This should actually be the last extrusion I have. So let me get all my parts together and we'll start on that. Now I'm going to start off with this last extrusion and make a mark at 15 millimeters. So I'm just taking my marker and I want the mark right at 15 from the end. Let's do the other side. Yeah, so I have my mark at 15 millimeters on both sides. Now, the last linear rail is the M512, so this is the thicker linear rail. And let me do my count on how many screws I need. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm gonna do nine T-nuts. So I'm gonna do nine T-nuts. I'm gonna do five facing one way, four facing the other. So the long part without the hole, this part right here is going to always be pointed towards the middle. So let me get all these situated here, and then I'll come right back. So I've lined the linear rail up, I've put it against the 15 millimeter mark. Now I'm just going to slide the T-nuts to match the holes. Well, it makes my life easier when I'm trying to do the screws. Let me get this last one. Okay, now I want to put the rail in the middle here. Now I have these little clips that are going to go on. And those are used to make sure that the linear rail is centered. So I use that to center my linear rail. I'm going to remove the little stop piece here and then put in 
my M3-8 screws. Now what I typically do is do the first screw on both sides and then just move in. Now with that, with those started, I'll do, I'm gonna remove these and just put these blockers here. Because I don't want all this to get all messed up. And then let me put in the rest of the screws and I'll be right back. So I have the rail installed. And I'm just ready to move on to that next step. Now it looks like I need to put M5 T nuts on. Let's orient this. Now there's writing on here. So I'm going to make the top where it's readable and the bottom is the bottom of the laddering. So let's get those M5 T nuts. It looks like I need two M5 T nuts right along the top on both sides. So let's slip those in go to the other side. And on the bottom, it looks like I only need one. Then I'm just gonna roll this over and I need one right in here on the bottom. So I have those in. Now it looks like teeth on these need to be pointed towards the front. So let's slip this in. Now it looks like off the line. These up a little bit. That's okay. And let me slip the other side on. This. So again, the teeth I'm putting towards where the slider is on the rail. Now it's like it's back in here. And let me push these around a little bit inside. Okay. So I have those lined up. Let's see. So as you can see, this side, this side, I haven't pushed all the way flush. Now it looks like on the left side, so on this side, I need two. M510 button heads. So let me get out the screws and I'm going to do this side. So we need two M510 button heads and I have those right on top. So let's get those out. Let's get these screwed in. Now on the other side, Move that over so you can see it. Again, I apologize. I have so much, so many parts now on my workspace. It's getting hard to maneuver. So now I need two M516 button heads. So let me find those. Now, going back to this is the best labeled kit I've ever seen. Everything is so well labeled. I can find almost anything. Although I still have a heck of a lot of screws. So let me pause and I'll come back. Now I found my two M5 16s that were sitting right in front of me. I have that chain piece I printed. That should go right here. I have those in. I'm going to roll this over. And right here, again, I'm going to have to get rid of some parts here. So this needs to be in. M530 button head with a shim. Let's get those out. There's our M530. We just need two of those, one for each side. This will be a little bit more difficult because what I need to do is sort of move this. And maybe that's good. Hold this. Let's see if I have that lined up appropriately. This may be a little difficult to get it up. 
just grabbed. Yeah. So now what I need to do is do the same thing for the other side. So M530, put a shim on. And let's screw that in. There we go. So that's all in. And what I need to do is just compare what I have with what is shown here. So I have idlers in the front. And need to loosen this a little bit. Just need to loosen that. Have the bearing over here on the side. That looks like the drawing. Same thing over here. Now I'm just making sure these are spinning. So everything's spinning. So that's good. And then I'll just move on to the next step. Now, this actually looks pretty simple. I just need to flip things around. Let me figure out what screws I need. Okay. So let me clear my workspace, make a little room for myself. And then I'm going to put all this together. I moved my cameras around. Hopefully you can see a little bit better. This side and this is the side without the bridge. I have four holes here. I'm going to line the four holes up with the slider. And then I have my M316s. And I'm going to start putting those in. I want to just put one in right now, just to start it. I'm going to go over the other side here. And if I'm reading the directions right, right now, I only want two on this side. And again, this is the side with the bridge. So I'm just going to put me one screw in just to line things up. Oh, there we go. I grabbed. Now, I'm just going to put in the other four screws over here, and two on this side. So the two are, let me put the two in. That's going to be much easier. And let me put in the other four. Okay, so I have four screws on this side, two on this side. The two holes that are done, when I do the end stops, they'll be, it'll be installed there. Now, if I scroll down, I've hit the end of the section. So I've completed right now the preliminary install for the X gantry. Now, hopefully, I found this helpful. If you have any questions or comments, you can post them below. I really appreciate your time. Hope you have a good day. Thanks. Bye. Hi, this is Mike from Minimal 3DP, and I want to thank you for joining me today. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. If you need some additional help, I've also posted some links in the video description you can set up a 15 minute help session with me and i'm more than happy to sit down with you and see if i can help you out if you need some additional help i'm also going to try doing one hour sessions for anybody that's interested and like i said i'm testing this stuff out i want to thank you again for joining me and i look forward to talking to you again next time thanks have a good day